Back once again, another Renegade Master. Right, episode three. I'm tubbing a D6. It's gone on a bit longer than what I thought it was going to. Anyway, so let's get into this. First up, I'm going to talk Ramit. So, <clears throat> whilst planning this, I knew that we were going to have to raise the airbox some more. But I'd already been speaking to Ram Air previously because they'd brought out a new induction kit. Performance air filter kit? I don't know. Um, so I thought, right, we'll give this a go because in theory, there's a bit less pissing around to do. Um, so, let's get into kit contents, I suppose. And here we are. So, in the box, we get one heat guard. So this will go, as I mentioned in the previous video, that will go in there so it keeps heat away from the engine. Get into the filter. We've obviously got some U-trim, which will go around that. Again, seal it off. Bag of fixings. This is then the mount which comes on there. Obviously got a bottom mount on there, so that will mount on the noggin, nobbin, nobbin. And then there's a the bottom mount down there. So in theory, it'll just bolt on as standard. Um, but then obviously have this amazing Pro Ram filter, which let's just be real, it looks cool as hell. Um, joiner, obviously that's the cone which goes inside of there because I don't think the inlet is that big. And installation guide, and they make two different types for this. So this is obviously just a normal T6, T5, two litre, 1.9 model. Um, so it excludes the 204 and the 200 brake engines. There's obviously a different kit for that. So, we will see how we go on with this. If it all works how we want it to, then we'll probably list these on our website because they're quite handy instead of raising your airbox and just replace with that. I know we're low down transporters, not, you know, fast as fuck transporters. Um, I'm sure it does have performance gains, but obviously we're not, <laughs> we're not interested in that as, as such. We're just, you know, instead of raising the airbox, we're gonna put a cool filter in there, which will make some nice whooshy noises, which, you know, we're big kids. It's what we want. So I'm gonna get on, fit this, see what it sounds like, see what it looks like, and see if it does what we want it to do. Let's go, ram air, noise. We've got to trim it a little bit. Sorry to the guys around there. That's only because of the engine subframe raise. That engine mount is right there. So I've just got to trim a little bit extra out. Just for clearance, apart from that, all seems good. All right, let's be honest with ourselves. We're big kids. That looks super cool. <laughs> yeah, nice bit of kit. Looks awesome. Let's see what it sounds like. Happy with the whooshy noises that makes. Good bit of kit. So we should put that on the website. Um, I'll put a link in the bio when they're on there. Um, right, I'm going to get on and paint 
that rear tub ready to be carpet lined over. Get some paint on that. Uh, I think I'm gonna pull this out and give it a wash because it's filth. I'll just give it a one quick blow over, get some of the grinding grit off, but get that washed down. Then I'm gonna pull it in. Then I might carpet line that passenger side quickly because that side's done so I can get that side carpet lined. Um, yeah, it's come together all right. Hope it goes finished up in this video at least would be nice unless something else goes catastrophically wrong so I wasn't in yesterday I got cold Clearly were overworked myself. Um, so yesterday Jack got that last tub welded in. Nice. Um, no seats. Now you know you've done a bad job and taken you know a long time to do something when the customer turns up themselves to finish the van off with you. <laughs> so Jay was booked to have the day off, so he's turned up. So he is getting it stripped out currently. Well, you know bits. We've got to cut that bulkhead frame out, b pillars out. To carpet line the metal work. So that's the plan anyway, is to get that everything's done on the, on the outside and inside. So we've just got to literally carpet line it and tidy it all up. Um, and then put it on its wheels and away it'll go. And that is that done. Um, the carpet, the panels aren't, we haven't redone the carpet panels yet. Just gonna redo the carpet panels at some point. But all the tubs are all carpeted. All the metal works carpeted. So, look at that. Three. Nice. So, that's it done. Jay's now gonna take it. It's been here all day doing the carpet line and stuff, so all done, ready to go. On to the next one. Catch you next time. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.
Ja, oh, låt ta. That's bloody lovely. <laughs> <laughs>